Being a vegetarian, I started Europe's first vegetarian farmer's market. It was my first stall holder. It was a seriously hot chilli stall. I said, chilies, surely they're, they're from abroad. And he went, no, Frank, no. We grow them in polytunnels and greenhouses everywhere. We make seriously hot sauces and chutneys and jams, and we have nowhere to sell them. All the delis won't take them, the shops won't take them. He says, you're amazing. Why don't you do a chilli festival? So I just did. It was the end of August in 2004. 10,000 people came in two days. And I thought, wow, there's something in this. There's something in hot foods, a trend that's growing, a wave of flavours and tastes that's very experimental and daring that is going to capture the public's imagination. I want to experiment with you about you being a human being and meeting a plant that nature created that you were not meant to eat. You'll all have a different experience and all have a different response. And we're gonna find that, that moment where your line is and we're gonna cross that line. So when you eat something hot, it sends a message to the brain saying, oh my God, this is hot. It's a false message. This message is to protect you like anything, like when you touch an iron or something. And your brain says, right, create a natural painkiller, it's called endorphin. Endorphins go off into the brain, and the side effect of endorphins is happiness. <laughs> of course you're the first one to go for the milk. No, no one's been going for the milk. Have you? Coward. So all these people that go for a really hot curry, Later on, they're really blindingly happy. It's not the beer and the lager they're drinking, it's the endorphins. Every plant has a, a defense mechanism, whether it's a, a spine, you know, a, a thorn, whether it's closing itself or whether it's uh, poisonous. And capsaicin came along, a chili plant grew because it didn't want mammals to eat the plant. It wanted it to have that burn feeling and go, oh, not doing that again, I'm remembering that plant, I won't eat that again. But it wanted birds to eat the seed. Birds, particularly parrots, and definitely Brighton seagulls, they cannot feel the capsaicin message. They have a different receptor from their mouth to their brain. Birds can eat a really hot chili, and then they'll fly far away, and they'll poo the seed, and it will grow somewhere else. So if you notice that different chilies grow all over the world, the reason is birds migrating. That's junk. It's the same heat as UK police pepper spray. What? Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Don't get in your eyes. I think it's my fault. We're the only mammals that can create the endorphins I told you about. So the humans would eat it and go, oh my god, it's really hot, and then realise that they feel quite good about this. It's quite nice. There's a buzz. And then they would start putting it into their foods. 2.2 million scurvy The current world record in this country is the Carolina Reaper. If we got one drop of the Carolina Reaper in a bowl, in a pipette, and you added drops of water, one drop of Reaper would need 2.2 million drops of water to neutralize the heat. It's a bit strong. Yeah, it's okay. Oh. <laughs> that was a lot stronger. Fucking hell. We're going to tell you how hot it is before it touches your tongue. And then no matter what information or how much I've scared you, nothing prepares you for that experience. And the worst thing about the experience is it won't go away. Excuse me. <laughs> Howdy. Fucking <sighs> hell. I need a napkin. Who brought the napkins? Me. You genius. <laughs> One of the best ways to stop burn, if you ever go to an Indian restaurant, is a sweet lasse, which is basically a yogurt, sweet yogurt drink, so it's sugar and yogurt. Sweetness, fruit, um, helps stop the burn. Uh, if you ever put honey in your mouth after you've eaten chili, it calms it right down. So basically, sweet and lactose helps. So vegans, you're in trouble. So if anyone dares, this is chemical chili. This is called the bomb, the most feared sauce in the world. Yeah, well, <coughs> this is the same heat as a chemical weapon. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do this. <laughs> it's the fact you're only putting a drop on. Oh, that's so tough. You're all terrified now, aren't you? <laughs>
<laughs> You're doing it. Good. Alright. Best of luck. <clears throat> See, I'm sorry to think I didn't really get much on it, but that might be just me being cocky. You know there's that point when you have something hot and your nose just starts to run. That's your point. That's the point, is your brain's going, ooh, it's a bit hot now. I'll create a bit of that painkiller. And it's perfect because you're getting flavours and you're getting the chilli, the tingle elongates the memory of the taste. The, the chilli became a stimulant and it's used in drugs today. It stops muscle spasms and things like that. But it's also brilliant at stopping nerve endings hurting, but it's great also for the painkillers. So humans came along and they broke all the rules and they've enjoyed um, the heat of chilies and then they've gone on to deliberately crossbreed chilies to make them hotter and hotter and hotter. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. I've, I've decided no more milk and I'm starting to maybe regret that a little bit. Uh, I can't stop shaking. <laughs> Guys, I want to say on behalf of the chili shop, I'm really proud of you. <laughs> that's not endorphins, that's pure sadness. <laughs> No, reacting to it's funny. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> if you look back on your life when you're older, you only ever remember really bad things happening and holidays. Okay, I know it sounds daft, but you also remember the hottest thing you've ever eaten. I have countless customers coming in to tell me their experience of their very first experience of eating Dave's Insanity or De Balm or the time their friend made them eat a really hot chili. And they probably couldn't remember anything else from that year, but they remember that point. So when we do this challenge, I am giving you all a lifetime memory for free. So apparently, you also feel it coming out the other end. <laughs> 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 It's all about volume, you won't get it tomorrow. <gasps> Unless you keep going. I'm so excited to shoot. I don't <laughs> <laughs>